What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. Talking about Insidious 5 in this video here again today. Haven't done a video in months ever since I did the video telling you that it, spec it, it was expected to start shooting this spring. I don't even know if it's filming. We have nothing. We don't have the cast. We know that Ty Simpkins and Patrick Wilson are going to be back. We know it's Patrick Wilson's directorial debut. He's also again reprising his role as the patriarch of the family, the Lambert family. Uh, but we're not we haven't gotten anything specific, really. No specifics. Uh, we, all we know is that it's going to be revolving around Dalton. Ten years later, after the events of Insidious Chapter 2, presumably. Or I, I guess we'll throw in Insidious 1 and 2, because I keep forgetting that Insidious 2 is only set, like, what? A couple weeks? Days? Months? After the first one? So, ten years after those first two installments, Dalton will be away at college. And I'm assuming he'll somehow end up involved in the further again. I hope we get to see the red-faced lipstick demon once more as well and that's all we've gotten patrick wilson himself and the whole production surrounding it has been hyping it i know he's excited and enthused he's talked about how it's an honor to get to make his directorial debut in this franchise um uh, and get to revisit and go back into the further james wan is hyped it up too there's just been nothing like i know a lot of people want to know is rose Byrne going to be back we don't know that she could be a surprise appearance in the movie uh but yeah, it's just been dead silence. But now we have a release date. The movie has a release date. It was supposed to come out in 2022. Um, for those of you who've been following it, I think you remember the very first words we heard of this to be a thing that was happening was in late 2020. The movie was set to do something in 2022. That didn't end up happening because then it ended up being expected to start shooting in spring of 2022. The year we're in now. There's been nothing. I don't even know if it's filming. I haven't heard anything about new cast announcements, nothing specific related to other plot details, none of that. The only assumption now is that it's still going along with the plot details that came out in 2020 and it's going to be revolving around Dalton 10 years later away at college, somehow again trapped in the further, I assume. So the release date for the movie, though, is July 7th of 2023. This came out earlier this week. And I know a lot of you who are Insidious fans are very excited about this. But I myself am just at a point where I want to know more about this movie. I am someone who's very excited for it. I love the Insidious films. I, I will admit, honestly, a lot of the fame or a lot of the, not fame, <laughs> a lot of the fan fandom in me comes from those first two movies i enjoy the character of elise but i will say that those two prequel movies we've gotten after with her are inferior to when we're focusing on the lambert unit uh i think they've just done a good job of just making them the heart and soul of this series and then the shift away from them while it was it was effective in the sense you kept giving us elise it, it it started to become like the the least the adventures of elise i think that's the route it seemed like it was starting to go on and i don't really think a lot of people were being sold on it due to the other characters that were with elise that might not have been as compelling as the lamberts uh elise in and of herself is still someone who's very compelling lynn shay does a tremendous job still as the character but when the narrative is also focusing on elise and then also focusing on some other people who are tended to be the main character i i found myself watching those movies sometimes and i'm not saying they're completely awful awfully made horror movies across the board uh it's just that you know i felt that there wasn't a real balance between giving me a reason to care about these characters other than elise as much as i actually care about elise i only cared about those other people because elise was here to help them it really just felt like the balance wasn't there i wasn't completely sold on being invested in anyone's arcs outside of elise uh and that's not to say that all the movies after the second one were horribly written or anything like that and that they didn't have some redeeming qualities to them they just were inferior <laughs> in the execution compared to the first two movies which actually gave me something to care about as far as like a wrench for both Elise and the Lamberts and giving me a reason to draw draw my attention towards everyone's arc, not just Elise and her helping these people. Uh, turning into like this Ghostbusters type series. I'm glad it's not doing that. Lynn Shay hasn't even been rumored to come back. So we'll see if Lynn Shay is going to come back in the character of Elise or as, a, as the character of Elise. We know her fate. If you're someone who's seen this series, we know what happened to her at the end of the first movie. Yet she still has been in every sequel or not every sequel, but every entry since the first movie. So I feel like a lot of people, even though we might be tired of Elise, we've gotten a break from her because there hasn't been a new movie since, what, 2018? Yeah. Yeah. So by the time the next one comes out, it will be like five or six years later, five years later since the last one. That's a that's a break 
of us getting at least content left and right so Lin Shay, if she's back, hopefully it's a, something very minor. I am a little bit intrigued as to again what they're going to do with Dalton. If they're still committing to the away at college scenario, is this something where his his astral projection abilities, astral projection abilities were subdued? Something at college sets it off again. He's revisited by the lipstick face demon. Him and his father, of course, team up. I'm assuming going to the further face the lipstick face demon bada bing bada boom <laughs> something that simple probably or is it a little bit more complex is there someone he meets at school that relates to why he ends up in maybe another coma situation where he's trapped in the further reunited with the lipstick face demon and that's how we are going to explore the character of dalton as far as like maybe he's someone who's a substance abuse or maybe he's someone who's abuses substances i meant to say if there's something like that going on with the character and that's a part of his character development in the arc that leads him down the path of being reintroduced to the lipstick face demon and all these other things or again is there somebody on campus who has the ability to astral project just like him and there's something else that goes on that ties him into a nightmare that relates to this other character and dalton is caught in the crosshairs because of the fact that he's able to astral project and somehow or some way he interacted with someone else on campus who was also able to astral project and he ended up in another situation that maybe is not tied directly to the lipstick face demon but will lead him back to being reunited with that thing that haunted him as a kid which then prompts his father to get involved i don't know honestly the college setting college horror movies they usually are hit or miss with me i can't say i've ever seen a college set horror movie that's not fun but i haven't seen a consistency of college set horror movies that are again just well made across the board the, the the setting of college has always been fun in many college horror movie setting films horror films i've seen i'm just not also going to then say that they've all been hits but the setting of college has always been unique and fun every time so i hope this is the same outcome with insidious 5 but we'll see what happens and again you have your release date now hopefully we get more news soon if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you can never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video